The hardware preparation of our cooling model is finished and we will configure the temperature measurement in the service software. We will first have a look at the datasheet of our sensor where we will find all necessary information. The sensor for our object has a beta value of 3984 Kelvin which does not comply with the default settings of the controller. Therefore, we have to find the corresponding resistance values in the datasheet for 0, 25 and 60 degrees Celsius. These values should cover the working range of your application. The sensor characteristics can be set in the tab Object Temperature in the section Sensor Characteristics. After putting the values in the corresponding fields, you have to generally click the right config button to save the new values to the controller. Afterwards, you can see on the left side of the text box the actual values of the controller. If you are using a PT100 or PT1000 sensor for the object temperature measurement, the values are already internally stored in the controller. As we can see in the datasheet, the SYNC sensor has a beta value of 3988 Kelvin. The resistance per temperature values already correspond to the default configuration of the controller. If a different kind of sensor for the heatsink is used, the same procedure has to be done as we did for the object temperature measurement. By default, the controller uses a fixed temperature of 25 degrees Celsius for the heatsink. The source selection lets you choose the option external, which means that the sensor value is used. Please be aware that the heatsink temperature input only supports NTC probes. Now we can check in the monitor tab if the TEC controller measures realistic object and sink temperatures.